Inshallah what do we have from our SMC family online and mashallah everybody putting out lots of videos, lots of uh, posts, lots of articles and alhamdulillah spreading the Muhammadan way everywhere. They used to call all Muslims Muhammadiyoon and then these Wahhabi people came and said, no, no don't call us that, it's not that, you don't call us this. Say, no that was correct, you should have been kept and called Muhammadiyoon, the Muhammadans. And they thought this was derogatory, this was the greatest name that people can call people. So alhamdulillah for all of the Muhammadans and all of the Muhammadan way people whom by just mentioning the barakah of the holy name of Sayyidina Muhammad is that Allah grant us good character as ambassadors of that reality. So alhamdulillah and the immense blessings of our shaykhs and their teachings that kept us all out of uh, the, the confusion of shaitan. The shaitan loved to mess with piety and think that, oh, oh you're pious? Okay I'll give you something pious to do, make a fire in the way of God. No, this is not anything to do with piety, no sincerity, nothing. If you're sincere join up with the tariqahs and learn what sincerity is, learn what true struggle is, learn what true fighting is, is fight yourself, inshaAllah. Are you able to log in? As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Wa Alaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. Sayyidi, why do we feel a, a significant decrease in energy during the month of Shawwal? I don't know why we feel like that, but I know that people can feel like that because of the overwhelming energy of Ramadan. So any, anytime you go into an immense energy field and walk out of that field you're going to say, oh everything stopped. It didn't stop but it's not to the magnitude of Ramadan. So this is a, a difference, Allah is sending and Shawwal is a, a month of crushing uh, hence turn on the TV and you see the crushing. So everything is about bringing the nukht down to be nothing. That has to do with the wave reality, all of these subjects. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. ...that we talked about that these come in the month of Shawwal in, in high intensity because God loves His creation, all the creation, not just the uh, specific people whom are following the, the channel. But everything is being crushed to turn into a wave and it's the, the anger of particles that uh, go around and crushing, crushing, crushing because particles by their nature are ignorant. And the students of wave realities, they don't like to go out and get crushed by other particles. So they should take to themselves, meditate and contemplate and reach to your wave reality. You know through the barakah and the blessings of Allah what we say is through Rahmani. If you don't come to the way of Rahmani will the shaykh give you these beautiful realities and beautiful teachings and, and uh, exquisite gifts then you can take it nafsani. Nafsani is usually a stick to your head, I don't think many people would like that. So that's not, a, that's not the way that people should be eager to achieve 
And they did that. They went out and boom, they hit people on the head. And uh, th this is a horrific way to reach to God's satisfaction. So the tariqah comes and teach you can do it the easy way is rohani. Sit, meditate, contemplate, find a guide, take the hand of the guide and say, I really want to fix myself. I'm an oppressor myself. I don't like those oppressions. Maybe I'm one of those oppressing my soul. And your soul probably thinks, you're like that. You've, uh, you've occupied me for 50 years and kept me in the dungeon. You think you, you're out there protesting, protesting? What your soul is going to testify about ourselves? When the soul comes to testify Allah first thing Allah says is what? It's like a big, uh, uh, like a big conference where they have the war crimes tribunal, it's like the heavens where Allah brings your soul up to the war crimes tribunal and says that uh, your body is going to now testify, I did everything right because he's a war criminal, he's done horrific things to the soul. And Allah's first comment is, I'm going to seal his mouth because I know this guy is going to lie in my Divinely Presence because the soul was tormented. I sent you a beautiful, beatific soul that should have been fed energies and zikrs and everything beatific. What you did for 50, 60 years with it? There's a war crimes where the body is going to be the biggest oppressor on earth. And Allah says, what's the first thing I'm going to do? I'm going to seal his mouth. His mouth is, oh my God, he's going to talk so much trying to convince us and lie to us. And I'm going to have his hands speak. And his hands will speak, do you know what he was doing? You know how he was raising, how he was doing, how what he was doing? So and now we understand hands because of texting. Everything now is just texting, texting. So in reality we see all of the horrific things, okay yes yeah, the horrific. But we have to also observe our horrific character and are we resolving that? Are we trying to tame that? Are we trying to make ourselves to be better and understand this struggle? And if everyone struggled with themselves, the world would have been a much more beautiful place. But nobody's interested in struggling with themselves, but everybody wants to represent somebody else. And this becomes the, the horrific nature of the nafs and shaitan. InshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Wa Alaykum As Salaam Wa Rahmatullah Sayyidi, can the binary code of zero and one be related to spiritual states of fana and baqa? Can it or we've described that it is? So that's in the meditation book that the fana is annihilation and the baqa is to be revived in Divine the Presence. So that is the binary state that you have to be annihilated from this world and only the people whom are annihilated in this world they can be brought back to an existence in which Allah wanted for them and where we see it in nature every day, in the plants. We said if you have a, a seed from a pomegranate or a seed from avocado and it, all its life is just going to be a seed and it thinks it came onto this earth to be a seed and we're all just pomegranate, we're all just the avocado seeds because it's big and hard and we didn't really reach what our potential and what our reality was supposed to be. The reality wasn't about the money, houses and cars and so I achieved all these things. That's like you take the, the, the avocado seed and you paint it and you paint it all beautiful and you put legs on it and a crown on it, maybe like a little coat around it and say, this is a very beautiful avocado seed. But that's not what Allah wanted. Allah wanted, why do you don't go into the dirt? Why are you scared of the dirt? You know, you go into mouth and that dirt rip apart that seed and nothing will be left of the seed. It annihilates and vanishes and the growth of that seed is going to be based on the quality of the dirt. What you annihilate yourself in is going to bring something new. And then after years you come back and mashallah now there's a tree. So the seed actually came on this earth to become a tree. And the tree was supposed to grow to bear fruits where hundreds of avocados are now growing 
on that tree. So now see the difference in our life if we remained a seed and we painted our seed so beautifully with nice ornaments, it never made anything in Allah's way. Allah views it as if you wasted your life I gave to you. You didn't achieve anything of the reality that I sent you upon this earth to achieve. And so the students of this reality, they understood, I don't want to be a particle and a seed. And what happens? I have to learn how to annihilate, to bring myself down, how to bring an energy to crush and crush and crush. And as a result in my meditation and tafakkur I realize I'm nothing, I'm nothing until I'm buried into the sea of Muhammadun Rasulullah This is the haqqaiq of La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah, they die. And only what comes out of that reality is Muhammadun Rasulullah And as a result these shaykhs what they become? They become Muhammadiyoon <coughs> and as a result of Muhammadiyoon means everywhere they go is the fragrance of Sayyidina Muhammad and that becomes the garden, Gulam Muhammadi. This is the reality and the haqqaiq is that every seed has to go back in to the Muhammadan so soil to come out into their Muhammadan haqqaiq. And that becomes the beatific nature because then they achieve the, the reality of their soul, what Allah wanted to bestow upon their secrets and those secrets would be given to humanity. So then the great annihilation is now taking place forcefully. If they don't want to annihilate and they don't want to seclude and they don't want to understand their reality, Allah brings about it by force upon this earth. And that's why we're seeing, we're seeing the phase of death for the earth now when everything will be crushed and if it's bad it goes towards its badness and if it's good it reaches its reality of goodness. So this is an immense time in our history and the history of humanity and a immense time for the people of spirituality to achieve what Allah and God Almighty wants to grant upon their souls and their reality inshaAllah. As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Wa alaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi how does the name of Al-Mani dresses us in the month of Shafal? How does Al-Mani dresses us? Nicely alhamdulillah. These are your questions, Isha. Inshallah. <laughs> As salaamu alaykum, Sayyidi. Wa alaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah. We have a few uh, emails. Um, this, this email is asking, is there any concept of carrying karmic debt of previous life that cause heavy and negative burdens upon us? We don't have previous life, yeah. yeah. Yeah, those come from different backgrounds here, it's, we don't have that. If you ask questions like that you confuse the audience. We don't have these things and people listening and shaykhs listening think that this is something from our teaching. So this is not acceptable understandings. We don't have cosmic backgrounds, cosmic re rebirths and stuff like this. As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Wa alaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah. Did he work with the reality of cattle mutilation or the jinn using the cattle to physical? <laughs> yeah, guys are pushing it, yeah. <laughs> it's cattle mutilation. InshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad and Musa Abbasir Surat Al Fatiha. As salaamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. 
This is Shaykh Nur John. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.